that, fillers, we've officially got another premium collection box. Everyone absolutely loves these because look at the absolute value for money. I'm talking a full art card, two different hollows, like six different boosters, a pin, a coin, a jumbo card as well. And it's all revolving around everyone's second favorite starter, Blast Toys. Well, I think he's like on par with number one for me, like Charizard and Blast Toys. Um, and yeah, they pretty much just popped out of Blastoise GX box the other week, and it was incredible. Everyone's bought it, everyone's got literally at least one Seeker Rare pull from these boosters. But are you looking what I'm looking at? So yeah, fingers crossed we can either get a Rainbow Rare Blastoise, that would blow my mind because how relevant would it be with this amazing looking full up Blastoise, then we go and get the Rainbow Rare version, or... Then we go and get a Rainbow Rare Tag Team Reshiram and Shorizard out of those two. That would be insane. Completing the collection in a Blastoise box, that would be ridiculous. Anyway, so we've got six boosters, full art cards. It's ridiculous. I'm excited to crack it open. On the back, though, the box itself is really cool. It's got the whole evolution line of Squirtle, War Turtle, and Blastoise. And don't worry at all, guys. It has got the magical-looking barcode. And, uh, yeah, it's just a really cool-looking box. I reckon this bad boy might actually live up to the hype that it looks like. So, let's crack it open, and then after we've opened this one, I was thinking, we're gonna crack open none other than a TCA Gaming Premium Repack. And not just a Premium Repack, this one has a 1999 original base set holo Blast Toys PSA graded card inside. So, without further ado... Let's get into the Blast Toys GX Premium Collection Box. Let's do it! Alrighty, so to begin with, we've got this massive looking jumbo Blast Toys GX full art card that looks so good. It's got the full art texture, which is just the greatest thing ever on a jumbo card. And already the artwork, I really do believe it's such an outstanding looking card. And then I was like, you know what would make it even better? If we got the actual playable version, the proper full art version of it, check this out. You not only get the full art version of it, you get Hollow Squirtle, which is a promo card as well. Then you, like, it's got the speckled Cosmos Hollow inside. Then you get the War Turtle as well. Really, really cool, like, whole evolution line set right here because it finishes off with that full art, Blastoise GX. And oh my goodness, that blue on blue outline looks insane. Giant Geyser and then Rocket Splash, Solid Shell. Gosh, it's such a cool card. Blastoise is such an awesome looking Pokemon already. And then they give it like the best full art card ever. They really do do it justice. GX card for the win, 100%. So we'll put this one in the back. We'll do a recap, of course. It's promo number 189. It's so weird because we opened up a Japanese product the other day and they were up to promo number 339. So I don't know what they're doing over in Japan, but it's something else. So then we've also got the uh, code card right here. On the house, don't worry about it. As long as you like the video, I'll keep giving you guys the codes. Then we got, this almost looks like a retro blue Blastoise because if you see the Blastoise now, he's a lot darker. This one's a bit more like light blue. But uh, my mum collects all the pins. She makes a giant Christmas stocking. And at the end of the year, I've got all my Pokemon pins on there. Really, really cool. Then we've also got a Blastoise coin. Um, I've got so many coins now, it's insane. But let's put you to the side. Let's start cracking into these boosters and show the people, is it worth getting one of these premium collections? Already, probably, yes, because you get a full art card. But unbroken bonds to start it off. Do you guys think it's going to be out? Do you guys reckon today's the episode in which Ando pulls? Oh no, he gave away the coat guard. It's a solid green. I saw a bit of color at the back as well. So I was like, you know what? It, it might actually be the day. But it's part of the first print. I also believe this is part of the first print because they made this box ages ago. Then they had to delay it because um, Rainbow Red Charizard and Rainbow Red Blastoise was just going for a little bit too much. All right, so nothing on the very first one, but the silver lining is everyone that's kind of opened this box has got one ridiculous sort of pull out of it. And I'm kind of hoping, I mean, hoping, I'm kind of hoping that that ridiculous pull is going to be on that second Unbroken Bonds booster. Um, there's not too, oh, that almost looks like the McDonald's logo, doesn't it? But there's not too much else I really need out of most of these boost packs today. Uh, I mean, a cool full art card would be nice, but yeah, I'm really hoping something's on that second Unbroken Bonds booster pack right there. So far, so good. The only problem is with me, like, being happy about regular rares on every single booster pack, though, 
is we get to the last booster and we don't get anything and then I realized I didn't get one sort of pull for the whole box. Another solid green on that original base set sort of moon pack. All right, so we got electric type energy, dragon air, charger bug, crushing hammer, wingo, dratini, lily pop. We get a bond sweet, potion reverse, and then what the flip? Who wants a regular rare sandcastle? Fates collide, break you open. All right, it's an X and Y, so that means it's only three from the back, not four. They try to trip you up by giving you X and Y and Sun and Moon packs. Yo, look how darker an X and Y Pokemon card is compared to the usual Sun and Moon ones. They almost look fake, don't they? There's just like more going on on the card. So we've got a Fennekin and Chikorita, Jigglypuff with Snivy, then Snivy again, Dealing, Carbink. Whoa, break card, Delphox. Such a shame break cards never took off, because this is insane. It's a rare as well. Delphox break rare. Disco ball in the background. It's not bad. That's kind of what you want. I mean, it's not it's not an ultra mega rare that's going to take up your ultra rare slot. But it still is a really, really good pull. I think we're safe. So now we've only got two boosters left. One lost thunder, and then we get into the unbroken bonds. Which is what, that's what I'm aiming for. So let's rip the door off this one, put you to the side. Oh, I can't even see the code card. Four from the back. Now, I, okay, let's just pray. Let's just pray. This is a regular rare, all right? Just work with me here, all right? This is, the craziness is going to work. Chansey, Trico, Picky Pick, Meryl, Vampy Reverse. Ooh, Pre-Marina. Okay, listen here. Listen here. We've got one booster. We've only pulled one break card. We've got a full art. It's a premium collection box. People have pulled secret rares. A lot of people have been tweeting me, and they open up that Blastoise premium box because there's something inside. Please, Arceus, if you're up there, let this booster contain the Charizard. I'll, I'll rephrase that. Any of the Charizards. I'm going to take any of those bad boys. There's the code for you guys. Put you to the side. Four from the back. Please don't let the only thing in here be a break card. That's just... That's just kind of sad to think about. We got a Bell Sprout. We got a Diglett. We got a Poliwag as well. Then we got a Rhyhorn. <laughs> oh, Reverse Togepi. And then, oh no! This is what I'm talking about when you're so happy about getting all like regular rares and then you go and get nothing. So that box, all that was inside was the guaranteed full art GXs. And everyone's got such good pulls out of it. And then I go and open it, and nothing happens. That's alright, you know what? It's gonna be okay because we're opening up a TCA Gaming Premium Repack. And if you don't know what these are, I'll link them in the description below, but basically, my boy TCA Gaming, he puts together, um, he's got like a lot of really rare cards, because <coughs> he runs a proper big giant eBay store. Oh gosh, we finally got it open. And he gets like all the random rare cards around his collection, and he builds up these ultra rare boosters, and he has hooked me up! Holy smokes! Look at this. I don't know. I'm going to put this back, actually. This right here is a 1999 Blastoise Holo card. It's been PSA graded. It's in near mint condition. 8 out of 10. It's number 2 in the set. I didn't even know that. Yo, this is beautiful, man. Thank you so much. That is an insane way to start this uh, opening. But I knew I sort of had to save it for a special occasion. Then when I saw the Blastoise box, I was like, you know what? There's not a better fitting position than to open it with that box. How good does that PSA card look? It looks ridiculous. Such like thick yellow border. Anyway, let's put this PSA card to the side. Definitely brightens up my day for getting nothing on that GX box. And let's open up the premium repack. I don't know if he's given us worse stuff because he did chuck in the PSA card, but we'll have a look. All right. So we start off with a Topps Hitmonchan. Oh, there's another break. You know what? Breaks give me nightmares now. Look at that. Oh, it makes me want to open up that Topps booster that he sent. Maybe, maybe we'll do a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to buy more Topps boosters, you know? They look so sick. He's like, kapow! All right, you with the back. Then we got a Talon Flame break card. Not too shabby, but you know what? I'm a bit salty about breaks at the moment. Then a Neo Hollow. Kingdra. Look at all of the holo speckled in the background. That looks ridiculous. And it's Japanese as well. Looks like it's in really good condition. Then a holo Espeon. I already know most evolutions in most sets go for a stack. Chuck it on to be our like Espeon one from the uh I'm guessing this is 
Hot Gold Soul Silver era. Pretty cool. Really nice artwork. Persian GX, no way. I thought that'd be the case. Then a Sylveon GX. My boy's gone for an evolution sort of thing. Sylveon EX full art. Promo original Black Star surfing Pikachu. So to know this isn't from the new evolution set, it's got the Black Star promo right there. Really thick yellow border as well. And then another, then an E Series Cypher EX from the old days. E Series down there with. Oh, this looks ridiculous! Cypher's such a baller of a Pokemon. Then add all this speckled, like. Oh! I reckon he's been reprinted as well because I've seen this artwork in different places. Look at the old school EX logo. Like, it was so small. If you told, like, I don't know, young Ando that this is what. He'd be getting. I'd be freaking out because all I wanted was one EX. Kangaskhan Full Art EX card. All of the pink in the background. That is perfect for an Australian. I love the Kangaskhan EX Full Art card. I've actually got a stack of those because you guys love sending them to me. And then, none other than a Dark Ripe Level X. Holy smoke! I know a lot of people want this card. That looks ridiculous. Darkrai is such a mysterious looking Pokemon. I love it. Then a Salamence GX as well. How many full art cards have you got, man? That is insane. And then the final card. Everyone, deep breaths. We're just going to do a Flame Jet GX. Boom. Whoa! Oh no! This is the Venusaur EX out of Pokemon Player Red and Leaf Green. Oh, that is sick. That has to be damaged. There's no way he'd send me a normal one of that. It looks okay. Oh, slight, slight chip there. This looks ridiculous. Oh my goodness. How good does that card look? My collection's never looked better. But the artwork is what everyone loves about this set, and especially that EX. Alright. Let's have a recap of... What's well, mostly a TSA premium pack, but let's have a recap nevertheless. So guys, on the recap today, it was actually a fantastic opening. I love the full art card that was included in that box, and they're always just such a good fun to open. Um, especially TCA Gaming sending in the mystery pack as well. That was really, really cool. Definitely demolish the like button if you enjoyed it. But we do have the two Squirtle and War Turtle. Then obviously, a couple of full art cards. I didn't know what to chuck in the recap, so I put a couple of full arts in there. Um, and then we've also got Blastoise GX. Amazing. Made my day. I'm, I don't know, I just generally like the artwork. I know it's not hand-drawn, it's really computer-generated, but... Nice looking shiny, really textured card. And then... Scyther Old School E-Series EX card. And then that Venusaur EX card, which looks insane, of Fire Red and Leaf Green. But the Mother Duck, the ridiculous pull, was the Blastoise Hollow PSA graded card. Just looks bananas. I love it. Are you guys, like, getting into PSA as much as me? I just love, like, looking at these cards so much. And knowing they're, like, you know, not touchable when they're officially graded, really, really cool. Anyway, guys, definitely demolish the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you want another episode of Search for the Rainbow Rare Charizard. That's sort of, like, it sparked my interest. I'm keen to do another one. If you guys are feeling it, because I just reckon Rainbow Edge Charizard, he's around the corner. Have a fantastic day. Open up some Pokemon cards. Let me know what your pool's like in the comment section below. But most of all, you got to keep on gaming. All right, guys, to the next video.